broadcasting live from Voice of Freedom Ministries in Benin City, a those state where our 14 days prayer and fasting is currently going on. It's called Shiloh 2023. It's a time where we come to seek the face of the Lord and take charge of the year. The year 2023 has been, has been declared by our Father in the Lord, Bishop Dr. Abraham Chibundu, as the year of divine access to success. And so far, Shiloh 2023 has been wonderful, has been a bomb. Uh, a lot of people have, have testified to what God has been doing for them. And shortly, we will just talk to one or two persons who will share their experience with us about what God is doing in Shiloh 2023. So please come with me. Shiloh is a program that I, I want to be in. It doesn't matter what is going on. Shiloh is not a program that I will ever miss because God has a way of blessing me abundantly. I can see some things that the Lord has done already. Many things. From the first day till now, God has been blessing me every day. Shiloh 2023 it's a bomb. The impartation so far is awesome by his lordship. Impartation of the word, prophetic declaration, spiritual warfare. Our enemies will never recover from this. And I want to thank God for what he's doing. Shiloh this year is far better than last year. It's been a wonderful time in Shiloh. 2023. We'll be eating the word and we'll be enjoying ourselves in Shiloh, preparing us for the year 2023. Of all that we are expecting God to do for us, laying a great foundation for 2023. Without a foundation, the house is not likely going to stand. So be laying a great foundation for 2023. It's been so wonderful and wonderful every year. There's a new dimension to it. For me, this is my almost 30, 31 years taking part in this uh, fasting. And it's like every year a new, a new thing happened to it. So I think it has been so great. It's really divine access to success. I thank God for my bishop. I thank God for my mama. I thank God for everyone that has made it possible. Shiloh has been an experience of heaven on earth encounter in my life. My experience so far, especially in this Shiloh 2023, has been amazing. I've seen God practically in every way, in every, in every aspect of my life. My father has been a vessel God has been using to be a huge blessing to my life and to my family. I give God all the glory. Concerning 2023 Shiloh. It has been awesome. It has been heaven on earth. The teaching of God's choice servant, Bishop Dr. Abraham Chibundu. In fact, it has been a great teaching. More especially, which settled down on the obedience and faithfulness. I must say it's been very refreshing in the presence of God. A lot of insights and so much has been said by our Father in the Lord. All I will do it to start implementing all he said, the teachings and the prayers. Wow, it's been an ex it's been an experience, I must tell you. It's been a refreshing time in God's presence. As it has been said, that Shiloh is a place of settlement. It's a place of where your expectations are met. And I've experienced it. Last year in Shiloh, I where I was praying, still on my knee praying, God just delivered my, my daughter and gave her twins. So this year, I'm still expecting another blessing from God, because I know that our God is able to do all things. 
from the teachings that I have received in this uh, Shiloh, if it's a conference, uh, I don't think that so many of us would have been able to pay for it. We have been taught about worshipping God with our titan. This year Shiloh, a lot of us will testify because um, what uh, our bishop, our daddy has been teaching, telling us to know God by ourselves. What has been your experience so far? Um, it's been very, very refreshing. It's been spirit lifting and it's been wonderful. We've never had a shooter like this before. The program has been so much amazing and a lot has been happening in this program that I just can't see. If you you out there watching me right now, if you happen to be in this program, you will know that this program has been very, very wonderful. A lot has been happening. This Shiloh 2023, God has started a new thing concerning my family. When we started, I asked God for something concerning my younger sister, and God has answered in this Shiloh. God has been doing amazing things. In fact, I'm a living testimony about the awesome things God has been doing. As a mother of fact, I'm also expecting greater things that God will do. And I'm believing God for mind-blowing testimony that ears has not heard, neither has I seen. I thank God I'm a part of this Shiloh 2023. The Lord has blessed me, blessed my household. I've experienced so many blessings, life-transforming words. Personally, I have experienced the mighty hand of God through our bishop. God has been using him in a mysterious way to speak into our lives. And that has brought about a tremendous change in my life since I've been attending this program. So, it's Shiloh 2023 in another dimension entirely. Uh, the, the streets of Adesua, the streets of Etete in Benin City have felt the power of God as our pastors, our ministers, have moved around from shops to shop, praying for their businesses, praying for them. And of course, there will be explosions in their businesses, there will be explosions in their family, and also there will be explosions in their personal lives. Very soon, we're going to take one or two um, clips of the shops that were visited today so you can see what God is doing in the city of Benin. I'm Elisha reporting from Shiloh, 2023 voice of freedom ministries beneath city at those states yes, and we speak upon this business yes, business prosper amen business increase amen in the name of jesus amen you will not be a local business amen. instead we decree amen. you will be an international business amen the brand will be known all over nigeria amen as shiloh 2023 draws to a close today Remember in Papa's teachings, he said, If you do not touch one soul to your one request, forget the request. God is not going to come down to talk to you. The word is there. And he has sent me to, say, to, to tell you, if you need my attention, you mind what I mind. If you need me to answer you, you answer me. The reason why I chose you is that you go out there, get fruit, and let your fruit remain. Then ask me anything and see if I will not do it. God bless you and see you in Shiloh 2024. The blessings of Shiloh 2023 are released. I remain Elisha Kentiemo for VFM TV News. See you.